Okay, here we go. Remember, nothing was in this building on Monday morning, and we've been working like crazy trying to get things ready for the antique auction, which is this Sunday at 1 o'clock. Preview B10. Probably one of the nicest auctions we've put together in a very long time. I don't want to sound like it's always the nicest auction, but. It's funny, we find new things all the time, so this is a great adventure. I'll start right here with the jewelry. These are beautiful right here. These are tur um, uh, tiger's eyes and gold balls, malachite and gold balls, lots of diamond heart uh, pendants. There's garnets, look at some beautiful uh, cameos, and it's kind of hard to see. Some cameos, there's a 22 karat gold coin and a pendant. This beautiful ring right there, look at these earrings. I'm telling you, they are gorgeous. They're early, um, early custom made, diamond encrusted, gold leaf pierced. That one right there has got two, almost two and a half carats worth of diamonds. European cuts, very nice, European mine cuts. Um, just some really wonderful jewelry, and we're going to work towards trying to get all of this done so that we can get the catalog done and up for you guys. We're just going to send you a heads up. Got a couple of men's gold watches, some pocket watches, vintage costume. There's some really cool coin jewelry right there. Lots and lots of coins, too, when you come around. Um, bolos, look at these bolos. Look how cool this is. Let me turn this around. Oh, geez. Caught that. That was good. Here we got a bunch of bolos there. There's a lot of Masonic bolos here, whole collection of them, very cool. Um, there's some sterling beads, lots of turquoise, great sterling etched cigarette cases, some more turquoise through there. This is a wonderful tax co set, real custom made bracelet, earrings, and necklace. Um, some nice turquoise earrings, pins, and that's Native American stuff. That's a beautiful one right there. Uh, Masonic silver belt buckle and there's some amber pieces again look at this look at that one's got a bear claw in it there's some really cool things coming through here oh we've got a buzzing going on i want to show you this one because it's just so cool i can't know if i can get close enough there you go these are ivory carved pieces very nice set of india there's a crack jade there's a, a alabaster elephant some native stuff these are from thailand the um silver Oh, you guys shut it off. There's some, a lot of really cool... Mason, can you come to me and pull this out for me? Uh, Russian hand-painted boxes. That, that thing of all that really documents. cool paper. Yeah, documents. There's some more Russian. So we've got two estates that the people traveled all over. Look at that polar bear. It's all carved. There's the um, Ukrainian eggs. There's some seals. It's carved. Open that up. These are some really cool stocks and deeds. And I guess I looked this up. And it's like, oh my gosh, that one's a private company. There's some of them that are original scams, man. The original. Look at this is yeah, this is tons and tons of really cool things here. I want to show you. Look at how cool the work is on there. The pork packers. Look at them little biggies. Anyway, just a nifty. This is and it's filled to the gills. Every every part of this is just full with some really annual luncheons. <laughs> Let's see, what's that one? District of Columbia Federation of the Women's Club. But look, look at how nice the work. This is the hardware store. Man, hardware and sporting goods. But just a neat collection of the paperwork there. Um, got a lot of cool things. There's the leak, there's Wedgwood, there's a nice Waterford set. These are Waterford, there's Francis the First little teaspoon. Toothpick, oh this is loud. I got Stuban there, Baccarat there. A nice crystal cup there, some wonderful um, crosses picked up all over the world, just some neat things, some great little pill boxes and perfumes, look at that. There's some of the Egyptian hand blown ones, enamel top ones, just some really fun things that you can imagine. This is, this right here, check out this. We'll come back and look at that. We're going to talk about Australia. Three sets of sterling. Just wonderful pieces of flatware there. Hummels, Gobels, Yadros. I mean, just Royal Dalton's Crystal, Val St. Lambert. More sterling, wonderful sterling sets. This great uh, platter here. And this is a beautiful set of sterling Francis I candlestick candelabra sets. 
more Waterford, more Crystal, more Waterford, more Waterford, Crystal, 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 and Sterling. My goodness, look at the Sterling. We got that Sterling water pitcher, more Crystal there. That's a Val Saint Lambert, I think, that piece. And this is cool. That's neat. More Sterling, more Sterling, more Sterling, more Sterling, more Sterling. So lots of fun stuff. I'm going to keep on walking as we go through and take a look at all the fun things. <laughs> this is the 50s section of the art. Uh, you know, there's a Picasso, there's some other pieces right through there. I mean, one of those 70s oil lamps where you just watch the oil drip. Some art glass. This is, look at this tea set. How cute is that? And a look at these. We kind of mix the um, travel mask with the slot machine. Right. So, there you go. You take a look at some of that stuff that. right there. Give me a Robert the background trying to get the catalog done. Some jade Man. trees. Man, look at that art. If you go to the website, you can see um, close up pictures of the Egyptian things there. So, let me shut that off now, Mason. Um, here is a Northwestern yeah, University field, from Boston. There's a chair. There's a bunch of stamps there. Here's some more stamps here. These are the stink quarter collections. There you go. All the quarters in there. There's three sets of those. Music box, marble top, East Lake. There's an early scare you to death. Um, Shirley Temple. Got back over here to uh, the um, East Lake Victorian and the Oak. Some really cool pieces. Now you look at some of this okay. art. Amazing little art. Came from a family friend. Collected pieces of art from all over the 52, world. And well worth taking the time to come take a look a at it. There's a pair of these fruits, Cain still life. There's another one there. Chair. There's the other one, the pear. There's Cain his the ancestors. Back it up a little bit. There's a butterfly collection. Again, some cute little handbags. Next is going to be um, nice a nice little desk. Crystal lamps. But yeah, it's always a nice. All this needlepoint, always a nice collection of different things. There's a nice little chest on chest. There's a silverware cabinet, some brass. There's a more instant ancestors. This set of dishes, a royal dalton, great drop leaf table. Some more needlepoint, lots of needlepoint through here. Um, dinnerware, bubble glass, lots of silver plate, serving pieces, thistle pieces. Um, here's a young child set back through here, down sofa. Um, this is really fun. You know, we always celebrate in somebody's life after they pass got some astronaut stuff. This is the Grey Lady Service. This is her. This is a cap picture. And I think that was her mother. And this is, I think this is her World War II one. And then she has the hat. So how cool is this? If you're just, if you're into, a, if you're a nurse and know a nurse, and that's just the coolest thing. Look at this beautiful mahogany sideboard. Some copper work, lots of sterling, more crystals, some nice china. Um, there's the Yardjo Bell collection. Look at this lead glass piece. This is more of the silver plate and crystal. Ah, Kentucky dinnerware. Look at all the stoneware. Some really cool pieces there. Now, if you walk around, we get a lot of things coming up. You should never know what you're going to find. There are these guys. There's a Russian set. These are beautiful. Look at this blue and white set from Russia. Just wonderful. I love this little piece. Look at that nice chest of drawers. Wonderful Majelica piece here. Look at the birds in this English ironstone soup tureen. Another blue onion soup tureen and platter. Look at this great little urchin lamp. Real nice. Another tall chest on chest. Some great furniture. Some of the best furniture we ever had. I'm going to go ahead and hand the phone over, to, uh, the camera over to Robert because he's going to walk you through some of the best furniture he's ever brought in and he can give you a better idea about what's here as far as some of this furniture. There's some beautiful inlay pieces, 1800 pieces, walnut. Continuing on with the preview for Sunday's sale, out of the land this day we have a fine burl front English three drawer chest, mid 1800s. We also have a nice early 1800s walnut two over four drawer chest and a shaving mirror. Collection of um, Blue Willa plates, nice little two drawer stand, and a posted armchair. Here's a little shot of the uh, starter table to be coming up. Some silver plates, some tourist pieces, travel pieces, and some wonderful linens from around the world. Um, on the back wall, we've got a beautiful two over three drawer chest. Once again, bench made piece, uh, mid 1800s. Nice uh, mirror on the outside, gold gilt mirror. We have three of them up on the wall here today. Absolutely fantastic burl mahogany front, blind top secretary, slant top piece right here. Beautiful uh, chest in great condition. 
Um, good hardware, stout and sound all the way around. Uh, nice little carved mother and child uh, pearl tourist piece there. A uh, Victorian walnut dressing chest with uh, three part marble top. And the corner we have a beautiful mahogany corner cabinet with some blue and white chinas in there. We have a John Hawkins 1922 John Hawkins riverfront uh, scene here. That's a uh, an oil on board. We also have a uh, a nice uh, Parisian uh, Notre Dame uh, cathedral uh, print uh, framed and glazed. Assortment of brasswares over here. We have a uh, nice little uh, wood framed office chair. Uh, some iron stone and uh, oriental pottery, as well as some uh, French Limoges dishes and more silver plate in this beautiful display cabinet that's been accented in gold. A mahogany uh, wardrobe, check it back at the, at the walnut wardrobe with the burled column, uh, burl, burled column, bubble glass mirror, nice piece there, as well as an early 1800 grandfather clock, oh, probably German. Uh, another walnut drop front secretary and a grouping of European architectural prints and a small gilted pier mirror. Swinging back across the, the front here, we have a uh, lovely parlor sofa, collection of brass uh, candlesticks, a little faux painted washstand, uh, a horse head table. We're going to be having a large collection of horse memorabilia, which will be up at our coming uh, Thursday sale. But this little precursor to the derby will be the, uh, the horse head table, some uh, lead crystal candlesticks, hand etched, a couple more beautiful silver plated trays, and the medallion back parlor sofa, as well as a refinished humpback trunk. Coming right across here, we have another uh, single drawer side table and a rocking chair, nice little sewing rocker. So, nice little line up in the early American, the early American era. Coming on down the sidewall, we have a coffee grinder here, a national coffee grinder, national mill company, a nice uh, five leg table, beautiful little rocker right here with a press back and a uh, whole seat, uh, an ornate frame with a cute young child in there, large collection of Longerberger dinnerware, uh, dinnerware is there, uh, the Ironstone Longerberger set looks quite complete, uh, assortment of framed art pieces from uh, European to uh, southern country to uh, one signed Sioux. So, even got art by Sioux. Little collection of, uh, of pottery right here, some, uh, some different glazes. A couple of uh, copper bale handled pots on the bottom there, as well as a deacon bench. Nice little, uh, little uh, uh, cabinet drawer, multi drawer cabinet there. Uh, a grouping of chairs and some aviation pieces. Uh, moving on through into the uh, the stoneware jug there, the blue handle stoneware jug, an assortment of English and uh, American teacups and saucers, many in the botanical patterns. Longenberger baskets, Longenberger baskets, and more Longenberger baskets, beautiful cabinet display of them there, all different sizes, as well as some uh, German nutcrackers. We have three at Sunday's sale. Some little miniature oil paintings here as we move up the wall, as well as some mounts. We have uh, five deer mounts in uh, this week's sale. Eight to uh, eight to ten pointers uh, and all professionally done. Uh, collection of uh, collection of books we down front here. The uh, the books, some uh, cane back chairs, a number of stools in this week's uh, this week's sale. Here we got a mahogany step back dresser, uh, a collection of porcelain birds over here, some uh, coronation cups and glasses, it's a beautiful etched stemware, uh, fair hand carved cranes. Some wall shelves, Lime, nice collection of old bottles, all types of uh, all types of early bottles, and then blue and green and assorted. Um, some black and white uh, prints right here, interesting early prints. Um, a nice uh, bird cake with the uh, feeders on the inside, porcelain feeders. More bottles. A little uh, locomotive section here. We've got the old uh, Virginian uh, locomotive in black and white and frames, some uh, collection of uh, miniature uh, Tootsie type toys, uh, a lot of uh, World War II, World War II uh, military gear there, a nice uh, nice heavy office chair, wicker, uh, 
for the winter side chair here. A quilting, uh, quilting rack, assortment of, assortment of train DCT parts here. Uh, there you go, some wet cars and track. And um, on the bottom we have some box games. Beautiful set of six ladder back chairs with the rush seats. Nice set of six there. Got a um, brass bed, headboard and footboard. Uh, check it out, the stoplight is here and working, so come on by and make sure you slow down for that. And that pretty well wraps us up for the sale. So once again, Dudley's Auction, the preview will start at 10 a.m. on Sunday. The sale will commence at 1 o'clock, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for taking time to listening, and uh, bye-bye for now.